Well, good morning, YouTube. All right, guys, we are back at the Speedway. We've got Goliath put in his place, but we're not gonna really set up today. We got the Harley out, we got the Mini Cooper out, and we've got the wash crew here getting ready to give Goliath a bath while Katie and I go to our favorite restaurant, First Watch, Yay! and get some breakfast. Yay! Um, but I do want to make a little announcement. If you guys that have come to see us before, I've told everybody that we're gonna be at the Speedway out front of the Advent Health Gate facing the gate. Well, they've changed the layout. So we're still out front of the Advent Health Gate, but we're facing International Speedway Boulevard now. That's the Speedway Boulevard behind me. So we're only a couple feet from where we were, but I noticed that sometimes customers have trouble finding us when we move even 20 or 30 feet. So just want to give everybody an announcement, let everyone know our position has slightly changed. This may even be better because we'll have better visibility from the highway than we didn't have before. Alright guys, we got back from first watch and they're all finished cleaning up Goliath and he looks so much better. Wheels are nice and shiny, tires are glossed, much better. Fortunately the trailer didn't come out as good, but it's just because the finish on the trailer is a little bit rough. And uh, see some of the stuff here is kind of like stained into it. We got to do something about it, it doesn't even want to wipe off. I think I can touch some of this up with some miracle wash. But all in all, it's a lot better than it was. So I think a lot of that back there, I think that can polish out with some miracle wash. We'll give it a try here in a couple minutes. You know, if they did a really good job on the back, check out how shiny that hiney is. All right guys, hope you can see the stains and the marks there. We're gonna try the Emzo Miracle Wash and we're gonna see how, how it does. What I like to do with the stuff, spray it on and then just let it sit for a few moments, let it work. Now, if you're doing fine detail things, like you're cleaning parts of your engine, don't spray it on like that because it gets everywhere. Spray it on the rag and then clean those parts. But on a big surface like this, just spray it on. best thing to do is just wipe it down. This will remove all the dirt. And then let it haze up. And then I flip the rag over to a clean side, or if I'm doing a lot of stuff, I'll actually use two different rags. That way, one's for applying and one's for buffing. And afterward, just come back and just buff it off. Look at that beautiful shine. No water needed, you can clean your entire motorcycle with it without any water. Perfect. Hi right, guys, in here I'll show you on the Mini Cooper, you see how dusty and dirty the hood of the coupe is. Same thing. You can see there's something on there. up and then give it a quick buff. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it with a buff just to make it shiny. No, it's not taking out the scratches, but the car is clean. So the Amzo Miracle Wash works so well without water because it's already got lubricants built into it to kind of protect the surface as you're wiping away the grime. Now, if you've been off-roading with something and you've got clumps of mud on it, yeah, I'd probably knock that off with the hose first, but as far as just cleaning up the normal dust and dirt and road grime, this stuff works really, really good. I'm not trying to turn this into commercial. Just some people ask what I use, and this is what we use. This is what Katie details my motorcycle with at every rally. This is what keeps it cleans, it polishes, and it protects. And this is also why we don't carry another brand of cleaners. We've had a number of companies contact us and wanted us to carry, um, you know, stuff like Bug Slide and so on and so forth, and. I just don't because 
none of them work as good as this does, and I already carry this anyway. So why carry two that have to compete with one another? Just carry the best one, be done with it. Well guys, unfortunately, the Miracle Wash wouldn't touch the sealant, but what I did is I scraped the bulk of it off with a putty knife and a razor blade, and then I used a gasoline-soaked terry cloth towel and wiped it all down and got rid of the bulk. Now that left a nasty orange residue, which then the Miracle Wash cleaned off very well. So once again, very happy with that. But I got another product I'll tell you about since we're here detailing Goliath because we got nothing better to do at the moment. Again, I'm not trying to make this a promotional video by any means, but these are the products we're sharing it with you. We have another product called Mudslinger. Now, the purpose of this product is ATVs, UTVs, things you're gonna go off-road and play with in the mud. The whole idea is you clean your unit first, then you spray it with the mud slinger and it leaves a nice shiny coating on it and it stops all the mud and debris from sticking to it. So when you're done riding and it's time to clean your toys back off, you just hose it off and it works well. Now what I really like about it is it leaves a really nice shiny brand new finished look to everything. So on my Harley, you know, the cases are the powder coated black and it's that rough texture. And over time, they kind of gray and white out a little bit. So they're just not as deep and dark black as they should be. And a lot of times when Katie's done cleaning my bike with the Miracle Wash, she'll take the mudslinger and she'll spray it around the cases and then wipe off the excess with a rag. And it gives it like a brand new finish. And what I've been using it here on, which I've never done before, I decided to experiment with it, is you guys know that on the side of Goliath, I have bed liner. And it's not showing up very good on the camera, but this panel right here, I have treated with this after the truck was washed and the panel next to it is not. I'm gonna flip the camera around so you guys can see. So I don't know if you can tell how nice and shiny that is compared to that panel. Dull and kind of streaky, you see that? And then right there at that rivet line, shiny. And I can promise you it's not coming out as good on camera as it looks in real life, but check it out. Now, spraying it a lot heavier than normal just because you can see the wind is blowing and trying to take it away. And then just, just wiping off the excess. Nice and purdy. Now, according to the directions, you don't even need to wipe the stuff off. I'm doing that because of the way the wind is blowing, I can't get an even spray pattern with this. So I'm using the rag to blend it all in. But here, let me go down to the engine of the motorcycle and show you right here. All right, so here you can see where the engine block is just kind of gray, dingy looking. And keep in mind, the bike is not clean at all right now. I'm just gonna spray it on. There, I'm not even gonna wipe it off. I'm just gonna let it dry. And it will leave a nice shiny black look compared to the gray look. All right, I've got a little bit more done. And guys, I honestly don't recommend trying to do this in these windy conditions. It is a lot more difficult than it needs to be. Because it's windy enough out here, I have to get the can so close to the surface that I'm not getting that nice even fan spray, which is why I'm coming back with a rag and just kind of rubbing it around so that where it's thick, it's not too thick, and where it's thin, it's getting coverage. You know what would be great on something like this is if I had it in like a one gallon pump up sprayer, like a bug sprayer because then I could just kind of do a nice, even coat on it. It'd be way faster, way easier. May have to talk to Amzo about that, because I don't think they make this in anything bigger than the spray can. It'd be nice if you get it in a five gallon bucket. Well guys, it's about dinner time now, and we're gonna have to stop detailing on Goliath because we have a dinner meeting to go to. So we're gonna head off to that. Uh, I think we're going to Olive Garden, but we'll, we'll see. I don't know if we're gonna end this video now. No, we'll just hang out for a little while. I don't think anything else is gonna happen, but we'll just hang out for a little while. Katie's brother James is here with us. He's gonna go have dinner with us as well. So we're locking everything up and headed out. So guys, all in all, I think Goliath looks pretty good right now. Keep in mind, he's not a show truck and I don't intend for him to be a show truck. He's a worker and he's been doing his job very, very well, but I still want him to look good while doing it. So right now, I think he's sitting looking pretty good. He deserved it.
Well guys, dinner at Olive Garden was fantastic. Uh, we had a really good time. Nah, nothing exciting, nothing to record, so we're gonna end it here. But I also want to remind people too, I've mentioned it before in some past videos, but if you're coming to Bike Week and you wanna find your way around and you wanna know what vendors are where, look up Biker Info USA in your app store, whether you're Google Play or Apple. It's there and it's a great directory on where everything's at at the rallies. But on top of that, you can actually find like motorcycle shops all around the country. There's so much information there. And I want you guys to know it's not a paid sponsorship. They're not paying me to do it. In fact, I advertise with them. You'll see when you get into the service section that uh, Extreme Bikes is one of the sponsor titles. So we advertise there. They don't pay me. I pay them. But either way, it's it's honestly a good, useful tool if you're trying to find your way around at this bike week or any other bike week across the nation. Every biker should probably have it downloaded to their phone, assuming that you have a smartphone. And, uh, well, most people do. Few people don't. But anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and end this video here because it's getting late. It's like 9 o'clock at night, and uh, we're going to get settled, get a good night's sleep because tomorrow we got to set up. Chip is running late, so I might have a new guy that's going to be here just kind of as a helper. So we'll see how that goes. But you guys will be there for that in the morning. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next time I see you, keep those engines running.